something that really helped with me was having a conversation in my head first we tend to say to ourselves I want to talk to my partner about this and then we just do and often that can result in conflict because we haven't gone through enough thought processes before approaching our partner and going that here you go deal with this so one thing that I started doing and there's there's a few things and you know this reading fix that shit that I started doing which is the balancing if it was going to be a piece of shit that I was going to go talk to him about, like, here's a piece of shit I need to talk to you about, this is your shit, you know, on the scale, if I put a piece of poo on his side, then I would say to myself, what am I not asking forgiveness for? And woo, really quickly, I get a piece of poo on my side and I go, you know what, I don't think I need to have this conversation. Um, and so there's a lot of things that I stopped saying and as I started putting the focus back on myself and what I could do better instead of on him and what I felt he should do better. But black and gold, right? Mm. Uh, but another thing that I started doing was having conversations in my head because you know your partner well enough now that if you say this, you can pretty much understand where they're going to go after that. So I started doing the back and forth in my head and if the conversation, if I wasn't able to get the conversation to a good place, knowing what my husband would say back to me, then I didn't go and have the conversation with him. Uh, for those of you who are listening in, getting fix that shit is gonna teach you a lot. There's 50 chapters in this book. Every chapter is short and sweet, but I am concise like a mofo. So every single chapter you learn a tool that helps increase communication and make things better and conflict-free in your relationship. This book right here. By the way, if you want an audiobook, you can get this one, but only through the link to my bio. If you aren't an emotional person and don't cry in front of your man, oh, my love, uh, if you give me puzzle pieces, um, I need all... Uh, I need all of that you want to say all in one box. Will it have a negative effect? Uh, I don't know in your particular case because I don't know what's happening in your relationship. When it comes to particulars, like how do I make my situation better? That we need to do a coaching session because I do need to ask a lot of questions in order to better understand you your environment, what's happening, and what you need to do to proceed. I had a horrible past relationship, destroyed all my trust in the world. How do I trust my new significant other? So this is a process, right? How do you go from not trusting to trusting, especially when you are with somebody who is potentially trustworthy or factually trustworthy? How do you stop vomiting your past into your present experience when you have all these recurring thoughts and have difficulty even believing that things could be so good this time? So I do have a No More Insecurity program that is designed to literally change you. So deprogram you from not trusting to trusting. Um, we are talking about changing your brain structure. We're talking about changing your thought process, talking about changing your emotions ultimately talking about the behaviors you feel compelled to do. Um, so how you feel and what you want to do in your relationship. We can switch that around, but it is a process. So the No More Security Program is a six session program designed to help you understand how to navigate your thoughts, your feelings, and your behaviors, but also how to rise out of your triggers and go from an agitated place to a calm and confident place. The guy I've seen told me he has been going through things but not telling me and doesn't text me. So when you are looking for your partner, the your long-term committed relationship, right? Like there's there's two different modes. There's playtime and there's relationship time. And playtime is just here today, gone tomorrow, selfish short-term thinking. I you know, I'm not looking for somebody to take care of over the long term. I just want to have some fun. Long-term relationship time is I'm looking for a future so future husband future baby daddy future person I'm gonna make big financial decisions with like buying a house 
future person I want to travel the world with. So somebody that you want to lean into for a long time and build something functional, cohesive, close, intimate, loving. Um, and so when you're looking for this one, there's a lot of criteria that this person needs to fulfill in order for the two of you to have a, a good functional relationship together. On your quest to find this person, you need to be using a no kissing for three months dating rule and talking to people simultaneously until you find that person. Um, and so, you know, there's a guy that you're seeing, how deep in are you on this? Did you use that no kissing for three months dating rule? Are you talking to other people so that you're not all in on one person that you don't even know yet, but you're building a castle in the sky telling yourself, oh, this is how this relationship is going to be if he pulls through. And if he doesn't, right, so he's not telling you what's going on in his head, he's not texting you. If he doesn't, you're not disappointed. It's like, okay, you know what, that's how you want to show up for me. That's okay, I'm talking to other people. I'm not hinging everything on how this one person is behaving towards me. So he's he's not telling you stuff, he's not texting you. Girl, talk to more people. Talk to more people. Let the, let the one that you should be with rise up above the crowd and show you that this is the one you want to choose. And don't be chasing after somebody, trying to get them to be the person that you need. Big session book roulette. When is a good idea to ask about your partner's exes? Before they're your partner, you should be using a no kissing for three months dating rule and having all these conversations before you commit so you get an idea of who they are. What book should I read if I'm in a long-term relationship to make us better? Uh, fix that shit. Absolutely. You're amazing. Thank you. I have an assumption about my husband cheating 16 years together. We're only 32 and 35. He has before. Um, so it's an assumption, but not proof. You need proof before you bring up the conversation. Uh, what program do you offer for six sessions is the No More Insecurity program. The No More Insecurity program. Do, 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 do. Having access to each other's phones, good or bad thing? I'm neutral on that. I really am. Uh, if you guys agree on that and both of you are fine with that and that's what the two of you want, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. I don't have a problem with that if you don't. I gotta watch the time. <clears throat> Guys that always look up girls on social media. Um, so it's the Playboy under the bed, right? Like seriously, like visual aids have been around since caveman days. This is nothing new. Um, just because it changed, you know, from the cave walls to an iPhone, it doesn't change anything. We've been using this forever. And when I say we, I mean we. Um, so it's nothing new, but is he interacting? Is he liking, DMing, commenting, following? Is he showing up for them? Do they know he's there? That's the difference. If he's just looking up stuff, whatever. But um, if he's going, hey, here I am. Uh, that's something else entirely. Is there anybody here who wants me to do a book walkthrough? Anybody here want me to do a brief description about what each of my books are about? My husband can't have a conversation about race or politics without getting offended. What do I do? You don't uh, have those conversations. It's okay for us to have differences, right? So there's fundamental values, which are things that have to line up. There's values, which are things that we can accept are different between the other between us, right? So. Fundamental values, marriage, that needs to line up. Having kids, that needs to line up. Politics, we, I, you know, my husband is, is a conservative. I'm a liberal. Um, we see the world in different ways. I'm an optimist. He's a pessimist. We understand that about each other. And we don't have those conversations because we already know what the other person thinks. I already know how he thinks. He already knows how I think. And so we've stopped having those conversations because we're just, he's not about to change my mind. Apparently I'm not about to change his mind. So we just don't have those conversations anymore. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, so a uh, book walkthrough. I'm gonna do a brief description about what each of my nine books are about. I am writing book number 10, by the way, which is Fix That Shit for 
uh, men. Just so you know, you can't get all my books on Amazon, but if you want an audiobook, so far it's fixed that shit, only in the link to my bio. So here we go. Uh, Comeback Queen is going to help you get over a breakup, put your heart back together and heal and feel better after that breakup. <clears throat> no more assholes. This one is going to help you make sure your next relationship is the right one. No more selfish short-term thinkers. You're going to go through a vetting process. 12 character traits to help you understand if this is the one you should be getting into relationship with or not. Um, perfect play. By the way, men, this is your version of that book. You're going to get into relationship with a generous long-term thinker. No more selfish short-term thinkers. Uh, ladies, after the first kiss, this is going to help you understand how to transition this relationship from courtship phase to reality phase. Men do become efficient after the courtship phase. You guys sometimes call that no more effort. That's not true. I want you to understand what effort looks like when you are in a relationship instead of during the courtship phase. Uh, you are going to learn how to deal with baby mama and all that kind of stuff. Big session is going to help you have a relationship with zero fights in it. Yeah, I said zero and you want that. It is amazing. It is amazing. My husband and I fought for 10 years. We haven't had a single fight in five years. It's so much better because the love between us just keeps growing. Um, just so you guys know, I've been with him for 15 years. We're going to have our 10th wedding anniversary in January. Uh, custom made. This book answers two questions. What is my purpose and talent and how can I monetize it? This is perfect if you're being codependent. You need fix that shit to understand how to relationship properly. You need custom made if you're making your partner your purpose because you don't know what your purpose is. Dating 101, this is a textbook. This should be in every high school for teenagers. This is sex ed. Um, so this is understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. Parents, you should get this for your teens. Read it first, but uh, I don't swear in this one. Fake Love Need Not Apply. This is a free ebook. If you hit that free book button in the link to my bio, uh, this is uh, how to avoid posers, losers, scammers, and predators. And then say yes to goodness. 10 steps to complete and happy you. How to be happy in your relationship and outside your relationship. My boyfriend and I are buying a house. I found out he tried to reach out to his exes a few weeks ago. Plural? Plural? For what? What was the reason? What was the reason? Uh, because of my abuse of childhood, sometimes in my head I confuse the reality and the relationship. If you need help with that, uh, come get coaching. Just one? Okay. I'm 36. Is it unreasonable that I'm looking for a man my age who has no kids, never been married? No, you're allowed to look for anything you want. And there are people who... I like that. So if that's what you want, then go for it. Do, 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 do. I love you and your books. That's all. <laughs> You're so cute. You're like, I'm just going to drop some goodness. There we go. You're adorable. Thank you. I appreciate that, lovely. I appreciate that. You're so super sweet. Hello, my loves. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Uh, I go live at least once a day. Sometimes I miss a day, but I feel really bad. So I really try to not miss a day. And I do Q&A's the whole time. My boyfriend emotionally cheated. He says it was wrong and realized how lucky he is to have me. What do I do? If you uh, need to understand if you should stay or you should go, come get a coaching session so I can get all the information needed to give you professional advice on that subject. I need help. My ex fiance left me in April. I don't know where to go uh, from now. I'm searching. So if you, um, if your heart is hurting, then come back. Queen is going to help you get over the heartache. If you're like, how do I get back out there and find somebody better than that? No more assholes is going to help you do that. For those of you who want a notification when I go live, Click my picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up. In the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. When you do that, see, I just did. Charlie, how do I sign up for a coaching session? So those of you who want to get a coaching session, go to my bio, click on the link tree. Click on that coaching button. It takes you to a page. Read that carefully. See if coaching is for you. What if he admitted to cheating in his last relationship? 
so this is the present, right? This is the present. This is not the past. You need to be in the moment. How come no men ready to commit? Because that's what you think. And your reality is always what you think it is. You cannot manifest something opposite from what you're thinking. People will literally walk over a $20 bill because they didn't see it, because they have the mindset that they are so unlucky. You're welcome. Do, 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 do. Junie Moon wants to be on my podcast. You're welcome. How long should it take to get engaged in your opinion? Um, so the way I like to time things is no kissing, no sex, no sleepovers for three months. Date for a full year before you move in together and then live together for a year before you get engaged just to see how you navigate ups and downs and can resolve conflict together. How do you go about changing your negative mindset about dating? Uh, so no more assholes is the perfect place to start in order to understand what is out there and how you need to navigate your way there. Uh, but meditation is definitely the first step. If you want to start meditating, go to my bio. There's a button there that says free meditation guide. This is actually a starter page to get you started on meditation. There's a free guide. There's a video. There's a track. Um, there's even a chart to help you track your minutes. What are your tips for manifesting? Uh, so you need to be meditating because you need to calm your mind and fine tune your antenna. And then you need to be very conscious of what it is that you want and put yourself in the emotion that you want. Like if you want a lot of money, you have to be grateful that you have a lot of money. It's work to generate an emotion over something you don't have. But once you start generating that emotion, then you do start generating the circumstances that bring the reality that incite the emotion. Uh, I'm going to be doing a 12 week lifestyle program. Uh, and so once a week, we're going to do a soul session. So basically, there's going to be minimum five lives every week. All these lives are going to be turned into replays if you can't catch the lives. But you're going to have two workout sessions, one cooking session, uh, one soul session where we're going to do guided meditations, manifestations, intention setting. So really training you to spiritually create what it is you want in your life. And there's also going to be a fireside chat, which is me bringing a special guest. We're going to teach you things or bringing a special topic and doing Q and A's. Um, and um, in addition to that, I'm going to be launching classes during that time. You're going to get 75% off the class price. So uh, I am going to be doing, um, you know, manifesting a manifesting class. There's going to be a relationship class. There's going to be a dating class. There's going to be business starting like business launching marketing uh publishing book writing so all kinds of different classes that you can tap into if you're interested in that add your name to the sign up list because i'm going to be doing a 24-hour window where you can get half off the um initial like half off the price to jump in on this 12-week program so uh go to my bio click on the link tree there's a button there that says uh three month lifestyle membership click on that and add your name to the email list How can he build trust with me? Your consistency of behavior is what creates trustworthiness. If he doesn't trust you and you are consistent in your behavior, that's not a you problem, that's a him problem and he needs to work on that. My ex hurt me, but I really loved him and I'm scared I won't see anyone else the way I saw him. You gotta get no more assholes, my love. Do, do, do. I do have a fire pit in my garden. Of course I do. Of course I do. My husband, uh, whenever we get a new property, uh, my husband will make me a big, so the last, like we, we had a cottage and then we bought this property here. Um, each of those places had a fire pit and 
my husband knows me, he made me a bigger fire pit for each one because he knows I like to make a big fire. Is he a cheater when he got a new girl right after the breakup? No. People who get with other people when they are single are not cheaters. So you might have broken up for a day and you might have hooked up with somebody and then you guys get back together. That doesn't make you a cheater. You are not in a relationship. Been with my lady going on 11 years, three kids, happy life, but should we get married? Does she want to? Does she want to? If she wants to, the answer is yes. Uh, we have not moved, no. No, we, we're not moving. Are situationships healthy if you don't get attached and try to turn them into relationships? I learned that they were talking while we were in a relationship. Sometimes relationships are over before they end. Right? If there's if there's a lot of trouble going on, you know, every time you fight, there's a retraction of good feelings. And so it gets retracted, gets retracted, gets retracted, and then you feel like there's no more good feelings here anymore. And so, you know, people have gone from like like the downfall of a relationship is frustration and then uh helplessness and then hopelessness. When it gets to hopelessness, that's pretty much game over. So, you know, if you and your partner have come, if, if even one person has come to the place of hopelessness, what's the point of me being here? That's the point where the relationship is over, but sometimes people stay beyond that point. So the relationship may have been over and he was talking to someone else and then it really clarified, I don't want to be here anymore. They ended the relationship and then switched over to the new person. She wants to, but wants one more kid so we can have all our kids in the wedding. That's cute. So do it her way. Do it her way. Happy wife, happy life. Do it her way. Can you have feelings for someone but not want a relationship with that person? Yeah, sure. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. How do I tell a narcissist I do not want to be with him anymore? Just like that and leave, leave. Um, if, uh, if you are living together, get your place and leave. But it doesn't have to be a complicated conversation. I'm not happy. This isn't the relationship for me. This is over for me. I am leaving. Friend of mine no longer wants to be friends because he says we were more than friends. What should I do? Say, I understand. I'm not going to hold you back. I, I, you, you know, you need to do what you need to do. That's it. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because uh, I'm doing a coaching giveaway again soon. One hour, a one hour coaching session. How do how do I get over it when we were close friends? Um, well, you can re come back queen if you feel like that's a breakup. You're welcome. Ex ghosts me after hanging out, only texts when he wants something from me. So block him, block him. Why are you letting him interrupt your day? Why are you letting him suck up your time? Why are you letting him interrupt your evolution and your flow and your growth and your, your traction towards someone better than this? First block him, go on Amazon, order no more assholes, get some expedited shipping on that shit and stop letting someone be an emotional vampire in your life. And please stop talking about your life as though you have no control. Stop talking about your life as though you have no control. Oh, my ex ghosts me after hanging out, only texts when he wants something. I have no control over this. Bullshit, my love, block the motherfucker. You have absolute control over your life and your environment and who gets access over you. My friends with benefit tells me he loves me but doesn't want to be with me. 
Um, is this red flag? Of course. Do you want a relationship? Because you are getting in your own way playing the hoping game. Oh, I hope all the time and convenience I give him is going to make him want a relationship with me. No, he's just there for the good times. And he's saying what it takes to keep you coming. Oh, but he loves me. I'm going to keep being convenient for him. And he's like, awesome, but I don't want a relationship. And you're like, la, 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 la. I don't hear that. I just hear he loves me. And, and I love the cuddles and he pays for dinner sometimes. So that must mean he cares. No, he's making it clear. I don't want a relationship. If you want a relationship, you need to go to him and say, I'm shutting this down because I want a relationship and I need to be available for the person who does want a relationship. Stop being convenient and stop having selective hearing. It is not working in your favor at all. And he is using your selective hearing against you. He is using your hoping game against you. Do you know who else is playing the whole hoping game? He is. I hope I get all the sex I want before she gets tired of this. So stop playing the hoping game. Get no more assholes. No more guys taking up your time and body and being selfish with you because they are selfish short-term thinkers. He's thinking about himself, not you. He's not in generous long-term thinking mode. He's not saying, I want a relationship. He's not saying, I want to look after somebody for the long-term. He's saying, I'm looking out for myself. So stop giving him the time of day if you're looking for a relationship. This isn't it. He's just going to use up all the time you give him. And at the end of the day, when you get sick and tired, he's going to go, okay, goodbye. That was fun. Stop being convenient. Stop giving him your time. Husband told me he's bi after a year of marriage. Is it terrible that I wish he told me sooner? No, it's actually very logical that you wish he told you sooner. Um, you can ask him why he didn't tell you sooner, but, uh, you know, you guys need to have some serious talks about what that means. Uh, I love your attitude. Thank you. What would you recommend regarding the breakup than getting a new one right after? If you need to get over a breakup, then Come Back Queen is going to help you heal your heart. So this is about you, right? I'm, this isn't about, you know, uh, teaching you how to deal with uh, what he's doing after the relationship ended. There, there certainly is some of that in Come Back Queen, but my focus is on, isn't on how you should be thinking about what he did. My focus is on how you're going to heal and move forward so that you get what you need. Um, so I do touch on a lot of stuff in Comeback Queen. I answer a lot of whys. So Comeback Queen, if your head is spinning on whys, this is the book to start. But then start looking forward. Stop looking backward. Stop examining him. He's not worth the examination. Who is worth the examination is you and your life and who you're going to choose next. How long until the guy should propose? It It's, um, the better you make your relationship, <clears throat> the sooner somebody is going to want to get married to you because nobody wants to marry conflict. So you you do need to be aware of, it, it's not about the timeline, it's how is your relationship working? Who did you choose for a relationship? Did you have that conversation about fundamental values before kissing that person, right? Before kissing them, did you say, hey, I just want to let you know I'm done my playtime. I'm looking for a committed long-term relationship because I want to get married. I want to have kids one day, blah, 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 whatever it is that you want. And then if you find out they do share the same fundamental values, talk about timelines. This is when I want to get married by. What about you? And make sure you're using that no kissing for three months dating rule to have all these important conversations before committing to the person. Don't commit to a stranger and then work it out from there and hope you guys are on the same page. This is you getting in your own way and delaying what it is that you want by being afraid to have those conversations. Uh, my loves, I do need to go. I have a coaching session starting in five minutes. If you want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. Say I just did. Uh, take a moment to go to Amazon get the book that you need off Amazon. If you want an audiobook, though, it's only fixed session right now and you can only get it through the link tree in my bio.
why do why do people not just men uh enjoy stringing someone along i could never do that so selfish short-term thinkers will tell you the truth those like most of them will say i don't want a relationship but we fool ourselves so stop fooling yourself stop fooling yourself people will take advantage of those who choose willful ignorance so don't fool yourself and you will navigate dating a whole lot better right this idea that we're not in control of our environment and we just need to deal with what shows up and what pops up is bullshit you are in full control of the pace you are in full control of what is going to happen in your dating life so stop acting like you're not and stop doing this kissing to see where it goes that guys want you to do so that they get what they want when they want it and start using that no kissing for three months dating rule all right i love you my loves i gotta go gotta go do my coaching session i will be back this afternoon um hit my picture here once or twice get that pop up hit that bell so that you get that notification when i go live do 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 <clears throat> ah thank you joshua what do you do when the person you live with and love has anger problems especially when they drink for me that's a do not stay especially if they're doing nothing about that anyways i love you guys i'll see you soon